Hi guys and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to format a portable storage device like a USB stick or any kind of uh, SD card, micro SD card that has been used to install an operative system into a new machine or on a Raspberry Pi. So uh, basically it's been prepared by an imaging uh, software. Um, this uh, method that I'm going to show you will also work in that situation where the regular formatting option built in Windows will not properly format your storage device. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hi guys, here we are in my desktop. I got a micro SD card which I've previously used to install Ubuntu operative system on my Raspberry Pi 4 and um, let's see how it goes so when you insert the card on the reader the device should be able to read yes there we go it's open up on my other window but anyway it's here so as you can see as you can see uh, yes we got the drive empty However, if we go into the specification, if we uh, look up at the properties of the device, we see that my device is 7.88 gigabytes. While actually the micro SD card I inputted into the uh, reader is 32 gigabytes. So what happened with the other space? And what I see here is that I have this system boot also available. So I have this drive here, which is basically the, the partition that it was created by the burning software. So if I double check also here the properties, I see that this one takes up like I have 252 megabytes. So definitely uh, there is a huge chunk of my micro SD card missing. So uh if you're trying and say format now we'll show you so we'll format okay we'll do the usual uh format yes warning everything will be erased okay format is completed close so now if we come back sorry for that went on my other screen so if we go back to there we go to my drive D and we check once again the properties okay so I see that still I got my 788 gigabytes but not my 32 definitely this didn't change also my boot various section is still here so how to go around that if we right click under this PC, we should see a manage um, link. I will ask you, yes, permission to run. Okay, and this will pop up the computer management. We need to go under uh, storage, disk management. Let's double click on that. Now we are getting, getting connected to the uh, disk management system now as you can see I have my disk 0 this is where basically that's my primary disk in my computer in my laptop and that's basically where the operative system is now if we see to disk 1 or removable 29.12 gigabytes which basically is the 32 gigabytes uh, micro SD card you can see that we have we have the about 7.9 gigabytes which is the free ver the free part that we see then we have the system boot which is 256 megabyte and then we have this unallocated part so what we can do very quickly is to select th these are called partitions so you can select one partition to go on the to click on the delete key and delete it will take some time okay we repeat the same thing on the other side and delete okay now we have all the space unallocated 
However, if we now close, I'll show you what happened. I'll close everything and I will extract my micro SD card. Okay. And I'll input it once again. Now we should get some error pop up. Yes, please insert the disk into SDHC. So that means that the computer is not is unable to read the micro SD card now. And that's because we will need to initialize the SD card. So if we come over here once again, there we go. So if we come under this PC once again, uh, by the way, this is not the only uh, way you can reach uh, uh, the disk management just this is in my view is the quickest one okay we go once again under disk management connecting to virtual disk service okay we still see so although it seems like the system is not reading an SD card there we can see that the disk management it's actually it's actually reading it the only problem is that it's unallocated and we need to initialize the volume. So, way to do it is to click on the unallocated uh, space, to right click. So, new simple volume, it will guide you through this wizard. So, the maximum disk space, basically you can see that it's recognizing the old space available in the micro SD card. Click next, we can assign a letter, in this case we'll leave it in default. Um, I would suggest to leave everything in default for now and then click on finish. Now once you're done your bar should turn blue. Okay we didn't see that but the E volume it's now uh, available and if we go under properties we see that we got it's empty right now so we have 29 0.1 gigabytes free let's go back yes as I said this the partition now primary partition which is the only partition in our case it's now initialized and um, it's ready to work so we can close this up close this up let's eject once again the micro SD card let's try again to input it and let's see there we go, new volume E properties, and here we have it. So we successfully removed the image file that was burned into the storage device, and uh, the micro SD card now it's empty. Okay, guys, we finally made it, and our storage device is now fully functional and ready to be used again and again. I hope you find the video helpful. If you have any comments, leave them below if you like the video click the thumb up button below and if you want to see more video like this one don't forget to subscribe i'll see you the next time ciao for now